So now that we've solved the outer shell, we're going to solve these little corner pieces. What you are going to need to do is you're going to need to put on your front side either uh, any of the uh, bandaged ones, either the white one in my particular cube or the yellow one. Your color scheme may be a little bit different. So that's going to be your front. And what you're going to be doing is you're going to be basically cycling these guys. This is going to go to here, this is going to go to here, and this is going to go to here with the right permutation. The left permutation, just the opposite. This will go to here, this will go to here, and this will go to here. First off, what I'm going to set up is solve these guys over here. So looking at what we have, we can start off with the red side. So I'm going to set this up, and we're going to do a right algorithm. What that's going to do is this is going to move to here, this is going to move to here, this is going to move to here. If we were to do a left algorithm, that might actually be better because this would move to here, this would move to here, and this would move to here. Again, using the bandage side as the front. So L, F, R, I, F, I, L, I, F, R, F, I. It's going to be an M, I. F, R, I, F, I. L, F, R, F, I, L, I, and then M. Swing it back down. So that constructs it back, and that put the red one where it's supposed to be here, and it put the white one where it's supposed to be here, so it cycled that around. And then we deconstruct it back, so you can see we've we put that in, into place. Next we're going to find the right, uh, we're going to find another red to put in here. Here's another red, so we can turn this over like so, and turn this over here. Now, in this case, again, it would have to be a left permutation because this will come into here, this will come into here, this will come into here. So, once again, we apply the algorithm. So this is now filled in, and just for the sake of uh, Reorienting ourselves, find our way back home, and you don't want to make it don't want to make it too complicated. So we solve that side over here. Now we look at the green. What I'm going to do is I'm going to demonstrate the uh, the right algorithm. The right algorithm is going to take this, put this to here, this to here, and this to here. So this is just the mirror image of what we did with the left algorithm. So that's going to be R I F I L F R F I, L I, F, and then M. So this is a F I, L, oops, F R I, F I, L I, F R, and then an M prime. So that put that over there. And that's really all there is to it. Just keep cycling it around like that. And anyway, here's a green over here. I'm going to move this here. And if I move this here, this will go to here, this will go to here, and this will go to here. So things will be cycled the way that we, the way that we want it. So we've got that in place, find our way back home, and this side is now solved. So we're going to want to fill this one in over here. So here's a nice one that we can use on this side. Move this in, move this up, and we can do either an R permutation, or actually an L might be better, because this will move it to here, this will move it to here, and this will move it down over here. So we got that there. And put this back. Whoop. Almost got lost. All right, so to solve the blue, there should be another blue. There's a blue over here that I could use move this into place, and we'll do another right permutation. Put this here, this here, this here, and this back down here. Back up. All right, so we filled that in over here, just to get our orientation. Let's take ourselves home, put another blue in here. I'll take this down here, move this over here, and basically do a left permutation to get this to here, this to here, and this down to here. Which would be 
So this is salt here. Okay, so this is okay, this is okay, this is okay. We just need an orange one over here. And we got two oranges to choose from here. We've also got an orange over here. Move this here. Doing a left permutation will swing these around. Find our way back. So we've got the sign. So what we have is this is solved, this is solved, this is solved, this is solved. So we're done with the white side. I'm going to move over here to solve these guys over here. The one that really needs a lot of work is maybe this side over here. And this would be the easiest to put in. So doing a, a right permutation is going to put this to here, this to here, and this to here. Or alternatively, I can do a left permutation, which would actually solve this. So a left permutation might work best this to here, this to here, and this to here. So kind of kill two, two birds with one stone. M. So solve two things over here. So you can see we're getting close. Let's put this other one in here. We have one more left, so this is the only one to use. Another left permutation, this will go here, this will go here, this will go here. All right, so that's filled in here. Uh, what about the green one? We can head for that one. We want to solve for the green, so once again, another left permutation. M, so we got that solved. Now we have our two reds. These are in position, red, red, yellow, yellow. That's a match made in heaven. So oh, we can do either or. I'm going to do my right permutation here to here, here to here, here to here, because it's just the one that I like. R I F I L F R F I L I F M F I L F R I F I L I F R, and then swing the M back, so that works pretty well there. And next we can do another right mutation to swing this over here, this over here, and this over here. So once again, all right, so we're getting closer. Now we just have two to go, two to go. Yeah, I can move this up here and move this twice down here. And bring this like this. We just have to remember what we did. And what that's gonna do is move this to here, this to here, this to here. So we're actually going to do the dreaded left permutation. So let's see if we can find our way back home. These two are nice solid colors. So this will go here, and this will go here, this will go here. And this is what I wanted. Two adjacent here, so I can flip-flop these colors here, anywhere that I want. Hmm. Let's go here. Let's go here. Uh, so this might work. I do a right permutation. This goes here. This goes here. Or, better yet, go from here. This goes here and is solved. This goes here and is solved. This goes here and is solved. So hopefully that'll cycle that through with the left permutation. So, dog on left. L. F, R, I, F, I, L, I, F, R, F, I, M, I, F, R, I, F, I, L, F, R, F, I, L, I, and then finish it off with a straight M. So with that, try to find our way home here. This will go up, this will go across and across, and we have solved our Venus cube. I wish there was more right permutations and left permutations, but I'll, I'll have them all in the notes. It has the same advantages, the same appeal as the challenge of the, um, of the Mercury cube, just slightly different algorithms, slightly different strategies. And that's Venus. Next stop is a pale blue dot that we call Earth.